So if you're looking for realistic materials inside of Blender with Octane, the dirt texture node is one that you have to use because it gives you so much control over certain aspects of your material and it makes creating dirt on um, your objects quite easy. And you can even use it for some other effects like worn edges or different materials on different uh, yeah, edges and um, places on your object. And today we want to take a quick look at this dirt texture node. Um, I have a little model in here that I want to take as an example for you how you can use the dirt texture node. Um, if you want to learn more about this project that you can see in the background, then just subscribe to my channel and I will make a future video about this project where I recreated an Alton helmet inside of Blender with Octane. So you can see the visor doesn't really have a material. Um, that's because we will focus on the visor today. And if you take a close look at the material that is in fact applied to the visor, you can see that there are black little um, yeah, gradients when it comes to the edges or places on this object where dirt would accumulate over time. And this is exactly the effect that we want to recreate today. Um, so let's start. I will just remove the material from the visor so that we can recreate it. Just like that. I'm on the left side inside of my viewport um, to take an object that we want to or to select an object that we want to um, apply a material to. Just make sure that there is a yellow line around the object, just like in my case here. And then on the right side, we go into the shader editor, set it to object. And then up here, we can click on new. Now this will create automatically a universal material that is plugged into a material output node. This is great. We can use that. We will take the universal material node and we will unplug it. And now we select the universal material and press Control C and we press Control V. And just like that, we have duplicated this universal material. Um, that's great. I will go into the first one that was automatically created and I will set the albedo to black. So this will be our dirt. And the other one will be the material that will be seen for the visor in general. And just like that, we are set with materials. Now we just need a mix material node. Just press Shift A and we search for mix material node. Here it is. And now we can plug the material out of the mix material node and we plug it into the surface connector of the material output. Great. Um, now the universal material with the black color is plugged into the second material of the mixed material and the universal material with the white albedo is plugged into the first material of our mixed material. Okay, on the left side in the viewport we can see that the color of our visor has changed. That is because now 50% of one material and 50% of the other material is taken and white and black makes a little gray color over here. If I would take the amount of our mixed material node and put it all the way to the left to zero, we can only see the black universal material. If I put it all the way to the right, we can see only the white uh, universal material. Great. We want to use a dirt texture now as the amount. So the amount is always telling the um, the yeah, octane basically where to distribute and how much either one of these universal materials. And now we have to add the dirt texture. Just press shift A again and search for dirt texture right here. Now we can take the texture out of the dirt texture and plug it into the amount of the mixed material. So, 
great. Now you can already see that there is a slight tint into the dark material wherever there is an edge where dirt would accumulate over time. And to see this effect a little bit better, we will go into the dirt texture material or the dirt texture node, I'm sorry, and we pull up the strength up to, I don't know, six as much as you like or maybe need for your um, uh, project. And then we can also add a little bit of detail depending on how big or how detailed your mesh of your object is. Um, you can change these values. The radius is also maybe important to you because you can change the radius. In this case, we have a small radius. So the gradient between the black and the white will be quite small. If I pull the radius up, we have a bigger radius of our transition between the two materials. And just like that, we have created a nice looking dirt material. Um, we, the um, material looks much more worn. And of course, we can change both of our universal materials that we use for this effect. So if you want a metallic effect on the one or the other, then you can add that. You can, of course, change the colors. So now you have a uh, um, uh, purple going into a black. In our case, it would make sense to go into a greenish look. Yeah, but um, yeah, this is um, it for this video. I hope I could help you with creating such uh, a dirt um, texture on your uh, material. You can, of course, also invert the uh, dirt texture so you can also use this dirt texture to create um, a rim where you have like a worn edge around the the outer rim of your object um, but this is it for this video i hope i could help you out if you like this video and if you want to see more projects or you may want to take a look at the project that the, i used as an example in here um, then just subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I see you next time. Have fun with Blender and Octane.